All right, I've cut all my plates. So here's the pattern. Uh, I did some more thinking while I was cutting, and I decided to start off with a quarter inch here at the top. Um, I sort of think that that's going to be enough. If it's not, I can drill it bigger. Down at the bottom, I have an eighth of an inch. So the holes alternate on the bottom. Um, I cut little tabs on the corners with tin snips. Just cut a little V out of here. You want to make sure you keep those at least a quarter inch wide. If they're more narrow than a quarter inch, your, your uh, terminals won't stay on. That's a nice snug fit. If they're a little too big, you can always you know, grind them down on the edge. Now I was worried, once again, about giving, I want to have even distribution of voltage all the way across the plate. That's why I have the four corners with the wire to it. Now this is where the leakage is going to happen, if it, if it will, through these holes in the bottom where the electrolyte circulates. So I didn't want to have a positive terminal right next to that hole. Because, you know, that, that's the hottest place. It's going to be 12 volts, you know, it's going to leak right through the electrolyte. So this is okay for a negative terminal. So this is the way the negative is going to be. Then to further reduce the, uh, to further spread out the voltage, the positive terminal is going to, our plate's going to look like this. So I'm going to have a positive right next to this hole, but hopefully this will be pretty well insulated by the froth from the HHO, the gas itself. So now, since I'm going to, I'm going to use really thin gaskets. I'm going to try to do um, 20 or 30 thousandths. I haven't decided how thin yet. So to make that work. You've got to have your, um, there's not enough clearance for the terminals. So you have to snip away the corners. That way when you put your terminals on, they don't short. Now that's, gonna, that's pretty close right there. I might have to make that a little, cut that back a little farther. But, uh, so make sure your terminal can fit on there without touching this other plate if you're going to use thin gaskets. If you're using 16th inch or 8th inch gaskets, don't even worry about cutting the corners off. All you have to do is cut your positive and negative plate and you're good. So this plate, I did all notched off for positive and negative. And I thought, well, that's a lot of extra work. That's not necessary. Turns out that's, I was going to do them all that way. So all you have to do is do the, the, the neutral plate that's next to the positive. This, in this case, it's the negative. And do the neutral plate that's going to be next to the positive. To get that lined up right. So these corners don't need to be cut off here because there's no terminal to get in the way. Right here in the, in the middle, those have to be cut out. To allow clearance for your terminals. So now you're gonna have even with a really thin gasket, so I'm gonna have a little bit of, of space there. So I should be okay. Now to cut these notches out in the middle, that was a little bit of a pain. So I marked them cut in with the tin snips and then you just grab them with your pair of pliers, my trusty multi-purpose tool here, and bend it. Okay, so that just breaks right off. A little bit of a burr right there, so you take it over to your anvil, tap it out. Now it's nice and flat. If you end up with a little something sticking out here that you think is going to touch your terminal, file it out or grind it out with a Dremel or whatever you have. And when you drill your holes, you're going to get burrs on the back. This one I forgot to deburr. Here, this one, I deburred the hole. So if those burrs stick out, it's going to be a place for voltage to leak. Um, it, it's going to make the, that burr will be closer to the next plate and you'll get more voltage leakage there. So then, we talk about voltage leakage too and also plate uniformity. You want your plates to be as flat as you can. Notice these, if you sight down them, they're pretty crooked. I'm going to work on the edges a little bit, hammer on the edges to make them flatter. Maybe do it by hand a little bit. But do not hammer in this area here. Oops. You want that to be nice and pristine. You don't want any dents or dings in it. A ding is going to be a couple thousandths of an inch deep and it's going to be a variation and it's not going to give you a nice even voltage transmission. Alright, so the next step is to cut some gaskets.